Hey guys, what we're going to try to demonstrate tonight is third generation night vision I squared using a, a PVS 14, a filmless PVS 14, and thermal using an Armasite Prometheus handheld monocular uh, 640 resolution thermal. Now, um, what, what we're going to try to do here is show the advantages uh, between the different units. Uh, in some cases, night vision has an advantage. In some cases, thermal has an advantage. Um, one of the things we're going to do, of course, I'm wearing camouflage here. Night vision, I squared, PVS 14, third generation, picks up hogs very black hogs very well in an open field with green grass. But things like predators, uh, mountain lions, coyotes, bobcats, their camouflage is pretty good. And if if it blends in in the daytime it's going to be very hard to see it with third generation night vision. Whereas a thermal camouflage really doesn't matter. It, it's going to see through it. Um, another thing that I have out here is I've brought a pane of glass that I have over here behind me. Night vision will see through glass where thermal will not. And that's more of a tactical surveillance issue, I guess. But also when you're out hunting, if it's a rainstorm, and you're in your blind, you have the windows closed or it's cold outside, you're not going to be able to see through those windows. Or if you're in an, a UTV that has a windshield, you're not going to see through that. Or, or a vehicle if you're, you know, cruising the ranch roads looking for hogs or whatever you're hunting, thermal is not going to be able to see through that where third generation I squared night vision will see through the glass. It, it will, it will dim, dim it down a little bit, especially if your windows are tinted, but you can still see through it. Um, another thing is we I got a little open area behind me here um, but there's some trees and some shrub back there and um, we're gonna see how the night vision will see through it versus the thermal and we'll also turn on an IR illuminator because when you have to use an IR illuminator on very dark nights the vegetation tends to reflect back and blind you whereas on thermal you're not gonna have that issue it is 77% uh, moon tonight. We're down a little low area, uh, but the moon's right up above us, but we do have a tree canopy, so it is fairly dark down here. But this is a top of line filmless unit, so it should look pretty good. For the weather, we have, it's 86 degrees outside, and 60% humidity with a 71 degree dew point. Um, from the Kestrel 4500. So um, here we go. We're going to turn out the lights and we're going to switch to night vision and thermal and see what we can see. Also, later on, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a ghillie suit to see if the ghillie suit can defeat the thermal, uh, just adding an extra layer on there and how that works. So here we go. Turning out the light now. All right, right here, I should be at about 50 yards and I'm in the clear. Of course, I'm, I'm wearing multi-cam camouflage, but I am in an opening with nothing in between myself and the, the camera. So um, the moon's straight up above, it's, it's coming through the clouds. So there should be some pretty good pockets of light here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to This is some very light brush. I mean there's some holes and some pockets, but it's just to give you an example of um, you know behind covered. And, and again, this is this is very light. It's it's not a very thick shrub, but it is something that I think will will help defeat night vision, especially wearing camouflage. It shouldn't affect the thermal. I'm move over here just the edge of the shrubs and stand out here again in the open with nothing in between me and um, again camouflaged 
should be able to see me pretty clearly with the thermal. Um, I don't know about the PVS-14. Now what we're going to do is turn on our illuminator. Okay, now we have the IR illuminator on. Again, this is me at, at 50 yards with the IR illuminator on. Um, should make no difference with a the thermal. With the PVS-14, I don't know if it's helping or hurting. It is pretty dark in here, so it'd probably need a little bit of extra illumination. Now, I'm standing behind this thin uh, brush here, a little scrub brush with a very few leaves on it and a few branches. We'll see if you'll be able to see me back here. So I'll wave my arms a little bit for the thermal and um, I don't know if that our illuminator is going to be blinding you or if it's actually going to help me there. And now I'm out back in the open and I'm just standing up against the tree background. Okay. Next here, we're going to be doing the, this is a very thin pane of glass. Of course, it's not going to cover my whole body, but I'm going to get back to about 50 yards and put this up. And you should be able to see it block the thermal, but the night vision should be able to see straight through it. So turn off the light again and go to night vision and thermal. Okay, here I am with uh, okay. the glass. And last but not least, what you'll see here is I'm wearing a commercial ghillie suit. This one consists of a, a thin breathable layer with a, a netting attached and then the jute or threads attached to that. Here I am at 50 yards. If you noticed in the thermal, you can actually see my feet print in the grass where I've forced it down. So you can actually track. I was really surprised at that. Um, and you've seen in some of the video here, my right knee looks cold. That's where I was kneeling down and talking to the camera and it got damp in the grass. And here you see, I go back behind the cover. And again, this is very light cover, but very well concealed with the uh, PVS-14. Even with the thermal not moving, it's, it's fairly well concealed. But looking through the screen... And if you, you had any time behind thermal, you would know somebody's there. And then here, back out in the open, just on the tree line. And um, 
I, I really thought this uh, ghillie suit would conceal me more, but it was so hot I was building up a lot of heat in there, so um, uh, it shows up with the thermal a lot more than what I thought it would. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions for future videos or questions about anything that I can make a video about, please comment below and let me know. Uh, please don't forget to like the video. And coming up here in just a second, there will be a hot link where you can subscribe to our channel. Please click it if you have not and subscribe to our channel. Again, thank you for watching. Hey guys, what we're going to try to demonstrate tonight is third generation night vision I squared using a, a PVS-14, a filmless PVS-14 and thermal using an Armasight Prometheus handheld monocular uh, 640 resolution thermal. Now, um, what, what we're going to try to do here is show the advantages uh, between the different units. Uh, in some cases, night vision has an advantage. In some cases, thermal has an advantage. Um, one of the things we're going to do, of course, I'm wearing camouflage here. Night vision, I squared, PVS-14, third generation, picks up hogs very, black hogs very well in an open field with green grass. But things like predators, uh, mountain lions, coyotes, bobcats, their camouflage is pretty good. 